Good morning. It's 11 past 8 o'clock at News Radio 710. Keel, Robert J. Wright, and Aaron McCarty. And um, we'll get to the Olympic where the guy got screwed worse than any Olympian in history. Yeah. Except, well, not worse than any Olympian in history. Marty Glickman is the worst. <laughs> you know the Marty Glickman story? No. Parky. While I'm talking about this story, uh -huh. Google Marty Glickman. Marty uh, yeah. Glickman. He was a, a, a sports announcer, uh, probably best known in the 60s and 70s in the, New York, uh, in the New York area. But in fact was an Olympic sprinter at Berlin, the Jesse Owens Olympics, if you will, in 1936. But this guy I've got got messed up pretty bad. Um, from the 2016 Rio Games, did you see that there was one of the athletes, and the irony of this is astonishing, that one of the athletes, he won the bronze medal, I believe, the bronze medal, let me look and see. Yep, bronze medal in his specific uh, uh, specialty. And he gets his medal on the Olympic stage and waves and goes off to party and celebrate with his friends and on the way was mugged and beaten, and they took his wallet. Now, mm. what would be... Now, that's sad. Yeah, it is sad. But what beyond that would be incredibly ironic? What do you think would make that story ironic? I'm not Can sure. You, no. Re read the headline. Judo star beaten up in Rio while celebrating Olympic medal <laughs> victory. <laughs> oh, man. So the next time you're at the bar... And a guy is giving you a hard time. Yeah. And he says, you don't want to mess with me. I know judo. Yeah. Throw a punch. Unless he was like a 115-pound oh, judo guy. Man. Wow. You just <laughs> won a medal in judo and you got your ass kicked? At a bar? That's, yeah. I, I That's just bad. walking down the street. Yeah. Don't mess with me. I know judo. Mm, yeah, I know. Mm. I know beer mug. Boom. Oh, judo. Yeah. Jump. Oh. <laughs> did you find the Marty Glickman story? I did. I'm reading through it. Okay, Marty Glickman was an American sprinter, one of the four best in America mm -hmm. in 1936. I believe he went to Fordham University in New York. I'm not 100% sure. Marty made the mistake. Marty's big mistake is that Marty was Jewish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Marty was scheduled to run with a guy, and it was the other, was it Sam Strollman? Stoller. St Sam Stoller was the other sprinter. There was Jesse Owens, another guy, Ralph, I, I'm not sure. Ralph mm -hmm. Metcalf. Thank you very much. Stoller and Marty Glickman. And, and Stoller and Glickman both made the mistake of being Jewish. And it was at the Berlin Olympics mm -hmm. with Hitler. And literally, it was Avery Brundage who was the head of the International Olympic Committee, if memory serves. Yep. Went to the American team, the, the, the American Olympic guys, and said, don't run the Jews. We don't want to upset Hitler. Don't run the Jews. Marty Glickman mm -hmm. and Sam Stoller were the number three and four guys on the four by 100 meter relay. And they got wow. replaced. And they got replaced. Place on the team. Yes. Mm. Yes. Now that, my friends, is getting screwed. God, that is. Big Van time. Vanderlee de Lima. I had never heard this. What year was the Athens Olympics? Did you look it up for me? I did. Uh, was it, it was 2004, I think. Okay. 2001. Vanderlei de Lima. This is awful. And I'd never heard this story. Vanderlei de Lima held the lead at the 22-mile mark of the men's marathon in Athens. And he stood to become the first Brazilian to win gold in that event ever, ever, ever. When from the crowd, a defrocked Irish priest, probably he had a couple of shots, mm -hmm. named Neil Horan, tackled De Lima, knocking him into a crowd of spectators. Right. And held him down and wrestled with him. Hmm. De Lima held on to win the bronze medal behind Stefano Baldini of Italy and Meb Cafleggi of the USA. Mm-hmm. The Olympic, the big Olympic guys, 
Do you think they should have done something for him? Do you think they maybe should have gone out of the way? I quoted the story earlier from the Cotton Bowl in 1950. Was it 53 or 54, Parky? Uh, 54. Where the guy from Rice, Dickie Magel, he's running down the sidelines for the touchdown, and Tommy Lewis from Alabama jumps off the bench, sands helmet. And tackles, comes off the bench and tackles Magel in the open field. Right, he's on the way to score a touchdown. And the referees gave Magel the touchdown. As they should have. Should Olympic officials, this guy had a 30-second lead, 25-second mm. lead. But you have four miles to go. A half-a-minute lead, which is about, uh, I figure, 10 seconds per 10 yards. He's it's 20. Not, you're not a given winner. He was tackled and held I know. down he by, needs a, something. by a spectator, and they did nothing. Maybe you give him a titanium medal. They <laughs> did nothing for know. this poor guy. That's sad. Vanderlei de Lima from Brazil. Mm. And I had never, ever, ever heard that story, had you? No. And no. given the way the story ended, given their lack of action, I can see where Olympic officials yeah. may want to go out of their way to cover that one up. Mm -hmm.